Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to my December plan with me video. Let's get right into it. If you're wondering why I already got into it before filming or before I started filming this video, it's because I had a vision for this theme and I was really unsure if I would be able to pull it off on paper because I've never been great at drawing trees. So I wanted to make sure that everything looks the way I wanted it to before I started even sketching out the rest of my pages. But luckily it worked and I'm very happy with how the trees in this theme came out. As you can see I'm doing a very simple minimalistic uh, pine tree theme with some snow on it. I'm basically using just two colors throughout this whole setup the very dark brown for the stems of the trees and then this beautiful green that I basically use in every bullet journal spread where I use green because I pretty much only have this green shade of Tombow Duo brush pens. Maybe I should stock up on some more green shades. Um, but I think this shade of green is actually very nice for these trees. And this video is going very fast. I'm already moving on to my expense tracker and a budgeting spread I'm doing. Another little thing about this setup video, I have been noticing in the past few weeks that I really haven't been using my bullet journal in the way I used to and that's because I've been very busy, I've been at university a lot, uh, whereas before I was just in home office all the time and doing uni from home and everything and I just used my bullet journal way more intensely during that time, I used my weekly spreads every day, multiple times a day and all my other spreads and now that I'm out of the house a lot I find that I'm mostly using um, my Google Calendar to map out my whole day even with tasks and everything and when I come home I don't really have the energy or I don't want to flip open my bullet journal and put everything into my weekly spread because I'm not taking my bullet journal with me when I go out um, so I'm just doing everything digitally at the moment, but I did really want to have a bullet journal or a bullet journal theme for December. So I decided to combine this with my Christmas planning spreads that I always do during this time and just did three spreads that I would normally do in a bullet journal setup, which is my cover page, my budget tracker and a brain dump, which I'm doing right now. And then the rest of the spreads I set up with this theme were just my Christmas planning spreads. You'll see that later I have a card tracker, a gift tracker, those kinds of things. Um, so I think this will be really good for this month. I don't have to like feel bad if I don't use my, my uh, weekly spreads that I spent a lot of time making to actually plan. I will just do that in my Google Calendar as I've been doing for the past weeks. And for Christmas planning and some chill bullet journal time I will come back to these spreads and I think that's really going to work out for this month. I don't know if this is just me, but November and December are always the most busy time in the whole year for me. Which sucks, especially because that's also the time I have the most videos I want to create for the channel. Like it's not just my December plan with me, or usually also my Christmas spreads video, which is in this case kind of combined now. But I also want to make a video of me making Christmas cards. I really love doing that and I filmed it last year for the first time and it was a very fun time. Um, and then of course there's also a flip through of all of 2022. Um, then there's the setup for 2023, then I wanted to make a reading journal wrap-up video and it's just a lot and I really don't think I'm going to be able to do all of it so I will just maybe push some of that into January and just maybe try to get my cards video out and then my 2022 flip. But we'll see how far I get, I really have so much to do. So bear with me if there's not as many videos coming out as I expected of myself. <laughs> right now in the video I am doing my first Christmassy spread of this setup. I'm doing my advent calendar, specifically it's a doodle advent calendar. Um, I used to make a little legend where I would write down on which day I would doodle what kind of Christmas thing. 
but because that takes up a lot of space to write that down on the spread and I wanted as much space as possible for the actual doodles, I decided to just come up with the doodle ideas on the day and I think that's gonna work really well. I think I did the same last year actually. Maybe. Check out my video from last year and find out. <laughs> Next up I'm doing my Christmas bucket list and I always love doing bucket list spreads especially during autumn and winter because those are my favorite seasons and there's always some activities that I really really want to do during that time. In this case it's like going to the Christmas market, watching some specific holiday movies, um, eating specific things, baking Christmas cookies, all of those cozy things. And this spread took a long time to decorate, even though I got quicker and quicker at doodling the trees with the snow on it. As you can see, I don't know if I just get sloppier <laughs> as I go through the setup, but it just got a lot faster towards the end. Uh, but there were still very many trees in this spread, so it took quite a while. So I'm gonna speed this part of the video up a bit more. Now moving on to my first tracker spread. This is a gift tracker. On the left side I did the actual tracker with a very simple table in which I list out the person, the present, the price, whether I have bought it and whether I have wrapped it already. I will just check those boxes off. And then on the right side I added a blank space for gift ideas and then added my decoration with two more pine trees and to match the topic of the spread, I added some little brown paper wrapped gifts down below the trees. Next up is my card tracking spread. This is a very similar layout to the gift tracker, but this one is with two pages because there are a lot more people that I send cards to than people that I give gifts to. And this card tracker is absolutely essential for me during Christmas because, because of how many people I give cards to. Um, so when I am done making the cards and I decide who gets which um, motif, I go back into my card tracking spreads from previous years and check that no person gets the same card twice, two years in a row. That would be embarrassing. So that's how I use my card tracking spreads um, and it's so convenient. Uh, in the top right I added a little space for me to write down which designs are new this year. I always do some staples that I've done for multiple years but then I also come up with some new designs and I just want to track uh, which ones were added to the collection in what year. And here I am doing my two final spreads for the setup. These are not planning spreads, they're really just for fun. On the left side I added four little Polaroid pictures in which I'm gonna stick down a picture from each day that I have a Christmas party with family or with friends. Um, we're going from the 23rd to the 26th. Um, and I just called it 2022 Xmas Memories. And then on the right side, I added a little blank space uh, and titled it what I got for Christmas, because in my mind, it always kind of gets jumbled up uh, what year I got which Christmas gifts. So I, it's not really important, but I kind of want to write down and be extra grateful for the gifts that I got um, and maybe look back at previous years um, and the very nice gifts I got. And I decorated both of those pages with the same tree that's kind of in the middle of the spread and it's kind of peeking out behind the Polaroid pictures um, and I really like how that turned out. 
And with that, we have arrived at the end of this video, the very last bullet journal setup of 2022. I can't really believe it. Um, here is me flipping through all of the spreads. I really hope you enjoyed this theme. It's a bit more minimal and less Christmassy than I usually go for in December, but I really, really love how this came out. This might be one of my favorite themes in the whole year, actually. So I really hope you like it as well. Of course, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and you want to see more videos from me, that would make me very happy. I hope to post a few more videos this year, at least my card making video, so I hope to see you back here on the channel for that. Until then, have a beautiful holiday season and stay creative. Bye!